Hi and welcome to this video on proteins. Proteins are an essential part of the diet as proteins have two functions in our body. They're either structural or regulatory in our bodies. Proteins are made up of these molecules here. So you may recognize this group here as the carboxyl group. And there's also this other group at the other end here. This is the amino group. Together in a molecule where they're separated by a single carbon, which can have any chain attached to it, they are called amino acids. There are around 20 amino acids and about 10 of those are what we call essential amino acids. These are the ones that we cannot make ourselves in our body and we therefore have to have in our diet. Our body uses proteins that can break them down into the amino acids and then can rebuild them to whatever protein we require. Proteins are formed through a condensation reaction. So here we have two amino acids joining to form what will be part of a protein. So in this reaction, we will lose the OH from the carboxylic acid and one of the H's from the amino side. These will leave to form water in a condensation reaction. The two parts that are left will join to form this part here, which we call the amide link or the peptide link. So this here is quite analogous to the ester link. You can see we've got the C double bond O and the NH, whereas in the ester link we have the C double bond O and then just the O here. We're going to have a look now at forming proteins. So we can look at making polypeptides. Polypeptides are those where we don't have a full protein structure, we just have a small part of a protein structure. Here we're going to make a tripeptide because we have three amino acids that we're going to join together to form our tripeptide. The amino acids that we have are cysteine, threonine and alanine. So when we join these together, we're going to take the OH from here and the H from the NH2. And we're going to take the OH from this one and the H from the NH2. We're going to join those together. We're going to lose two waters in the process and then we should hopefully form our polypeptide. So the structure of our polypeptide, we've got our NH2 at the side. We've got a CH attached to a CH2 and an SH, which is then joined to the CO. That CO has then formed the amide link to the N which still has a hydrogen attached to it. That's then attached to this carbon, which has a side chain of CH2, C double bond O, and an NH2. That carbon is in turn attached to the C double bond O, which is again attached to another N through an amide link. Okay, and then we've got our carboxylic acid group at the end. As these molecules are bifunctional, it means that we could carry on reacting them with other amino acids until we make our full protein chain. You can also break down protein chains through hydrolysis reactions. So to do that, we need to identify where the chain is going to be broken. So like you would in an ester, you need to find the link. So for the polypeptides, we're looking for the amide link, so we're looking for the C double bond O and the N, and you're going to break the bond between the C and the N. So we have two amide links here that need to be broken. And when we break them up, we'll end up with this amino acid here. We've got another one in the middle. And then we've got this final one at the end. When you're drawing out the amino acids, you need to make sure you put back on the parts that will have been added back in from the water and hydrolysis. So here we would have NH2, CH with its chain attached, C double bond O, and then the OH from the water. For our middle amino acid, we need to join on the H that would have came from the water and an OH onto the other side. So we'll have NH2, CH with a chain here attached, C double bond O, and then the OH from the water. And then finally, for this amino acid, we've just got the H to go on to the N.
So you should be able to identify where a polypeptide will be hydrolyzed and then be able to identify the amino acids that have been made from that and be able to draw them out. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe or follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Kim for updates of new videos. Thank you for watching.